Okay, to create the border, you're going to select the lettering that you put on the screen. You're going to right click and duplicate. Now it won't look like it did anything, but it did. Right now all you have to click on is the convert button. This will take you to Corel Draw. Now you shall, you'll see this, the stitches underneath it. You just need to click on the sh um, show embroidery to hide them so you can just see the vectors that you've created. Now you're going to go over to the color bar and you're going to right click on a color so that will put an outline around it. I'm going to do it in black. So you're going to right click on this color and it puts a black outline around the lettering. Now you don't need any fill inside of it so you're going to left click on the X. Now you're just going to have it selected like this and you're going to hit convert. That'll take you back over to the Wilcom, the Deco Studio. And now you have this, but you need to make it a satin stitch. So you'll need to go like this. You'll need to select each, the black, and then right click and convert, and then convert to input C. Now, it'll have a standard width. You can actually click enter and it'll make it the, the width. Most of the time it's too fat. So you can go over and in your properties, change in the outlines. If I can find it, hold on. This is what I want. I'll probably need to break that apart so I can get each individual letter. So right click on it. You might have to do this, break apart. And then you can actually see the individual letters. You can go here and then you're going to go to outlines. No, you're sorry, special input C and then make it I'd say about a millimeter and then you have to do that for every one of them though. You have to go in and change the width. Now if you wanted to do it an easier way, you could do it this way. So let me grab this. If you know exactly how wide you want it to start out with, you can go right click, you're starting in Wilcom, right click, duplicate and convert the duplicate, go over to Corel. Now select it and click on the outline and you're going to left click on that X because you don't want to fill. And now you know you want the outline say a millimeter. Okay, so what you can do is in your properties, and your properties might look a little different because it's a Corel uh, X4 that you've got and this is X6. You want to change that to millimeters and change it to maybe one millimeter and you can see it makes it fatter and then you can hit convert and it will convert it just like that. 